As robot vacuums continue to climb in popularity, it is no surprise that the industry has turned to the very tedious, very boring task of mopping and decided to make that a robotic task as well. iRobot's Brava Jet M6 has taken over the awful, awful, boring, tedious, disgusting task of mopping in my house, and I could not be happier to give it away. I will say I am a bit particular about my floors. If it is going to be mopped, I want it to look fantastic. I want it to look like it has been mopped. Otherwise, it's not worth wasting my time. I don't want streaky floors. I It drives me up a wall. I have muddy paw prints. I have a German Shepherd, a German short hair pointer, and a cat. So things get dirty quickly in my house. The Brava Jet M6 is life-changing and I will never go back to mopping by myself if I can keep from it. The M6 comes with two different pad types. It can do wet mopping or it could do dry mopping. We'll start with the wet mopping first. There are two different flooring solutions that you need to pour into the container, um, one for hardwood floors and then one for other floors. So pour it in, slip on the wet mopping pad and the robot recognizes exactly what's going on. You use the app, it's very user-friendly. Just like any other iRobot device, it's going to use the first couple of runs to really get a feel for your house and your home's layout. After that, in the app, you can go ahead and label rooms. Once you let the M6 take over mopping, you're going to be impressed. It works in very tight, methodical rows, and it goes about three feet, scoots back about halfway, and then sprays out some of the cleaning solution and then goes back over and it literally repeats that until the job is done. One of my favorite things is that it doesn't skimp on the cleaning solution. My floors are dirty, my floors get gross. I want them to be cleaned. I don't want to just be pushing around dirty water the entire time. There is tons of solution that is sprayed out. They It works very tightly, you'll see it really keeps within the tight rows. It makes the rows and then it goes back along and it does the outline of the rooms, making sure that every single spot is cleaned. It's small in size and its stature. It does very tight turns, making sure that nothing is unmopped. If you want to use the dusting, you don't have to do any of the solution. You just put on the dry dusting pad. Again, the mop immediately recognizes what's going on. It is disgusting how much dust that this pad can pick up. I don't like it. I do, but I don't. It does a great job. So if you don't wanna mop all the time, this is a great option for you. And it really gets uh, those floors and especially some of those harder to clean areas, maybe under some furniture. The M6 can be slow and that's okay because it makes up for it in battery life. To give you just kind of an overview the M6 cleaned 407 square feet of my home in an hour and 43 minutes. Now, it never had to dock, it never had to recharge because the M6 battery can go up to 1,000 square feet on a single charge. So, it might take a little while, but it has the battery life to withstand that, which I think is really nice. That means that not half of your home is getting mopped and then a couple hours later, the other half, it's all getting done. One of my favorite things about the iRobot family is how well they integrate with one another, especially in the app. So if you have a robot vacuum that is through iRobot, so maybe you have the Roomba J7 Plus, check out my review on that. You can pair the two together and they can team up to get a job done. So you can tell the J7 Plus that you want it to vacuum your home and then you can hit the mop after button and your M6 will know as soon as the robot vacuum docks and empties that it is its turn to go and start cleaning. I don't clean my house any other way anymore. I just hit boom, 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 mop after and it goes to work. It is fantastic. If you have a lot of rugs and carpet in your house and you're worried about getting a robot mop, let me tell you, the M6 is for you. I've tested several and this is truly the first robotic mop I have had that I have not had to fight to avoid carpet and rugs. It goes right up to it, cleans right near it, but stays away from it. That is huge. I cannot tell you how many robot mops I have tested that I've actually tried to mop my carpet. The M6 has never. This is a must have, especially if you have any type of hardwood flooring.
this thing has been put to work and it does a really nice job. Now I do not let it go more than a week without running. I let it go one time a little bit over a week and it had a very hard time cleaning up a lot of the mess because it was really it was really packed in, it was really dirty. But if you run this every week, if not more, it does a great job. My floors look fantastic. The bottom line is you have to get a Brava Jet M6. It is the best robotic mop that I have gotten my hands on. The app is very user friendly. It does a fantastic job. It never misses a spot. It works very methodically. It recognizes your carpet and rugs. It never has once tried to ruin either of those. Goes right up to it, moves on. Absolutely worth it. And if you already have a Roomba, if you're running a Roomba robot vacuum, Spend the extra three or four hundred dollars and get this. I promise you it will absolutely make a difference for you. If you're interested in reading a little bit more about my experience with the M6 or maybe you're interested in the Roomba J7 Plus, I have written reviews for both of those. Be sure to check those out. As always, be sure to stick with ZDNet for all things robotic vacuums and mop and tech.